Halloween Venice in the building, man. I did the Taz face glitch. Really glad of what came out of it. You could probably find a tutorial if you're trying to get it. I'm not going to show you. But in this vid, man, we're going to go into the wreck. Watch some highlights with a crazy camera that absolutely nobody uses. And it just makes for a great experience overall. So without further ado, let's get into the wreck. Let's get into it, man. As you can see, bro, we're running the My Player default camera and... I've got to say, bro, once you uh, actually try this camera, you probably went back to 2K or 2K low, whatever you prefer. But I've decided, you know what, let's give a shot, a real shot to this camera, man, and try to actually go to work, do some things. As you can see, bro, go to shot off the rip. I, I've got mixed, mixed opinions on this, man. Now, the real, real problem about, about this is the defense, bro. The defense is pretty hard at first. It does get better once you get used to it. But the defense, since the camera turns, you got to change the input of your controller. And it's kind of hard guarding your man with this camera. But let's talk about the good stuff, bro. We're going to come back to the defense. As you can see, beautiful pull up in the mid range. The space awareness is the main things that i absolutely love about this cam bro it is so much better for shot creating and as ridiculous as this might sound it is pretty good for passing bro as we get pretty much fouled right there but we do drain the shot it's amazing for passing lanes now obviously 2k or 2k low it's more intuitive as far as you know drawing up some easy place seeing the backdoor cuts and whatnot but this camera allows you to really get a better understanding of the spacing on the actual court i think if you've played real basketball before you might want to give a try to this cam as we draw our first charge of the year i was going crazy man this game plays really really good a lot of passing a lot of shot creating good defense too really just fun wreck sessions on this cam but let's talk more about all the space awareness thing I'm talking about. If you've played real ball before, you kind of have a better understanding than the average 2K player of what are the moving parts on, on a basketball court. And I think this camera really displays it pretty well, bro. As you can see, I've got the lane right there. Go for the layup. And all about the space awareness, even if it's not passing, even if you're shot creating or going for a lane, I think that the 2K cam doesn't do a really good job of displaying the depth of the the court it is it is way more space than people realize in this mid-range area and i think this camera does a great job of displaying it and allowing you to realize what kind of space you have i found myself doing a lot of hezzy work in the mid-range if that makes sense kind of shea gilgis-esque type plays where i'm just being patient because i do realize the big chunk of space that i have in front of me and you really realize that it's no rush to uh get a three get a dunk 2k camera just i think it dumps down the game way too much and you don't really realize all the space you have and all the movement that can occur and as you can see beautiful fade away from the corner everything just feels better bro from a basketball perspective and uh, especially with the rhythm shooting I've got to say this is the most, this is the closer that I've ever felt to real simulated basketball. Beautiful outlet pass right there. The, just these outlets, bro. It, it feels so simple on the 2K cam that, you know, you just hit your man and obviously he's open. But just this cam just displays the whole depth and like the power of the pass and just the dude cutting. And the, it's beautiful, man. If, if you're really into like real ball. I really would give this a shot it it is it's gonna take a couple of games to get used to this with you know everything turning but it's really really fun and in my opinion it definitely adds something to the game also with the rhythm shooting like I was saying it, it feels extremely close or I guess as close as, as you could get to uh, a basketball sim game a completely completely different experience in in my eyes than the the cameras were used to seeing right here uh just take my time drain down the clock as it was a close game beautiful pass to the corner with, with the help man coming 
everything feels smoother, everything feels better in terms of what you're trying to do. And, you know, what, like I said, whether it's past, look at this outlet, bro. Really feels like a deep pass, bro. A great outlet pass. You see your man running way down there. It just feels way better than on the 2K cam where it just feels like, okay, well, uh, let me hit the icon real quick. This dude's open. He's going to get the dunk right there. Beautiful shot over two people. It Once again, I, it just felt like I, maybe I would not, would not have shot this on 2K cam. But the space awareness that this gives you is great. Now we're going to go to work outside and, you know, just Euro step right past this dude. I realized that I had space on his on his right and to my left. So I hit this guy with the Euro. It's It felt right and it was right, bro. I probably wouldn't have tried this on the regular cam. Beautiful go-to shot once again banked in. The rhythm shooting didn't uh, register for some reason on this shot. And I, I've, ha I've been having this problem quite a bit since season two drop, but I guess this is uh, a topic for another vid. Step back corner. It feels great, bro. And I've got to say, just watching back these highlights, man, it also looks great. It looks better. And we're going to try and beat the press right here. I'm going to hit shower on the, on the quick little pass. He's going to hit me right back. Pull up for three. It also allows you to get a better understanding of the shot mechanics I feel like in the game because you're closer to the player you kind of realize more details about about the shots about the way this, that this game plays that oh that was clean bro little uh, Kobe hop jumper mid-range so it's it's beautiful man seeing this dude just go fly to the rim and having like the literal depth in front of my player of what's happening I would try this bro if you're into real basketball if you want to like get as close as you can to playing ball on the this this just feels like an actual run of 5v5 and you know just distributing right there it, it feels even better it's a simple corner pass but sometimes I think you gotta get down to you gotta get back to the basics and apart from being a super sweaty game where basically everyone's good I think 2k is a beautiful basketball sim and when you get back down to the basics, like with a camera like this, you do appreciate the better things in this game. And I feel like the the bad things just, you don't really realize as much. Like see right there, beautiful cut. I'm going to hit this guy. But uh, like I was saying, maybe, yeah, sure. It's probably not best for comp because you don't really, you, you see like I'm completely blind right there from who's open on the three so competitively it surely is not the best but sometimes i feel like it's not always about being comp or being the best or winning every game and uh, this just felt like a great uh, great experience great basketball sim game corner three wide open we'll take it this is something about seeing these shots going from this going from this angle that it's just pretty hard to recreate on the 2k cam bro Really give this a shot. If you, I know some of you guys are always playing like this. I do. Uh, we get down the lane. See these openings. They just feel more real, bro. With all the depth and the uh, perspective you get, it's a whole new ball game, literally. And uh, we're gonna keep going, man. On these highlights, these were older. Oh, that was contested, bro. For the buzzer beater. Beautiful, man. We're gonna keep going, and we're gonna fall into the more recent highlights. As you can see, my player wasn't glitched just yet with the, the face glitch. Gonna lose the ball right there. Get it right back. Like, see, just a battle for the ball and a bounce dish to the cutting man. This this felt, it felt great, bro. It felt better than what it would have on the regular cam. Get this fade in one, please. Light pressure. We make those, bro. We're gonna sink this free throw too. So it's just a good way to get back to the basics of 2K and just have fun playing once again. So these are more recent clips. Gonna get this trip. This dude's gonna hit us or not us, but we're gonna end up finishing the lob on the outlet. It feels good running with your teammates. It doesn't feel like a simple like 2K outlet play. It feels like you're really running for your life out there and it, it feels great, bro. I'm telling you, you better you better try this. It's it, it's been a game changer for me and it gave me uh, way more fun playing this game 
Now this dude was hitting beautiful cuts. We were a bit late on this pass. We get it right back though. Spin on him. This dude had high shot block. We made him jump, lay it right back up. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, this kind of gave me the joy of 2K back at least until I get, I guess until I get bored of, of this and it doesn't have that effect anymore. But really, really had a lot of fun trying out this and I really would suggest you do too if you haven't. Like I said, I know some of y'all always play like this and I kind of feel it now. I did try this camera in previous years and previous times this year too and you know the defense once you once you allow a, a, an easy bucket you're like yeah that's the camera's fault let me switch back of course like i said it's not to be playing competitive but try to play through it and uh, you'll see that even the more simpler plays feel super rewarding uh, once you hit them and you see the, the play developing developing from up close like this really really feels good this is a crazy highlight man spin on him hit the self lob like kobe like i'm kobe uh no words bro i've basically said all i wanted to say in this vid and the timing is perfect because these clips are about to end we're gonna hit this three and uh, win this final game super easily so hopefully you guys enjoyed this vid if you have a different opinion that i do make sure you let me know in the comments i want to hear y'all on this camera angle and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one peace